ของกุยจบ President please be seated องจุลินดาประกาศมันโตขึ้นจำรายการในเดมทีสัมนาการ The court is now in session รุ่นเช้าสิจุเดียว Today, the chamber will hear testimony of a civil party. Aujourd'hui, la chambre entendra une partie civile. That is to TCCP. TCCP. Eight six nine. The hearing of the uh, testimony of the civil party is with the assistance of uh, Dave Tida, a TPO staff Et who will assist the uh, civil party. Apportera son soutien à la partie civile dans le cadre de sa comparution. And today, the chamber would also like to inform the parties that for uh, today's proceedings, as well as possibly for uh, the following days, jours, Judge Yu Otara, the uh, national judge, is absent for absent urgent pour, personal uh, matters. Des motifs personnels urgents. And after the bench deliberated the matter. We decided to replace him by Judge Tumani, who is the National Reserve Judge, until Judge Yutara is able to return to the bank. And this is a pursuant to Rule 79.4 of the ECCC Internal Rules. Du règlement intérieur des chambres extraordinaires au sein des tribunaux commandés. Et aujourd'hui, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, Monsieur le Président, all parties to this case are present. Toutes les personnes concernées par l'audience se sont présentes, except à l'exception du juge du Défense Cambodgien de la Défense de Kusampan, qui est absent pour des raisons personnelles. Mr. Nguyen est présent et participe depuis la cellule temporaire du tribunal. Il a renoncé à son droit d'être dans la salle d'audience aujourd'hui et le document à cet effet est remis à la chambre. La partie civile qui déposera aujourd'hui, à savoir deux TCW 869, est aussi présent dans la salle d'attente. We also have a reserve witness. We have also a witness. That is to TCW 1009. The witness confirms through his best knowledge that he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the accused, no tier of the accused, no tier of any of the parties admitted in this case. The witness will take an oath before the arrangement of the statute this morning. The witness also has Mr. Mung So Wan as his attorney. President, thank you, Ms. Tiesiuhua. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen-Chi. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen-Chi. Dated 25th January 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in judicial hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in any present hearing. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Thank Il a été dû informer par ses avocats que cette prononciation ne saurait être interprétée comme une prononciation à son droit de remettre en cause tout élément de preuve vérifié par le tribunal de justice. Il a été dû informer par ses avocats que cette prononciation ne saurait être interprétée comme une prononciation à son droit de remettre en cause tout élément de preuve vérifié par le tribunal de justice. Having seen the medical report of Mr. Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECC on the 25th of January 2016, which notes that. Le médecin indique que Noon Chi has chronic back pain when he sits for long and the commandant of the chamber grants him his request so that he can further the proceedings to remove the debate depuis la cellule temporaire du tribunal. Downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 85, the ECC Internal Rules, the chamber grants Noon Chi his request to further the proceedings remotely. 
from the holding cell downstairs pour un suicide audio ou les débats visual depuis la cellule means. temporaire par moyen audiovisuel. The chamber instructs the heavy unit personnel to leave la régie est priée de raccorder la cellule temporaire so au prétoire pour que Nouenshia puisse suivre l'audience aujourd'hui. Court officer Bates, uh, civil party The graphy, uh, please uh, check Madame with the uh, civil party. Veuillez vérifier. President. Le Président. Good morning. Bonjour. Madame Civil Madame Party. Madame What is your name? Comment vous appelez-vous? And uh, Madame Civil Party, please Madame observe the uh, microphone. You should speak remarquer. after you see the red light en on the tip rouge, of the microphone. Uh, sur votre microphone Again, what is your name? Une fois de plus, veuillez nous dire votre nom. Civil Party, Réponse. my name is Eun. Je m'appelle Eun. Question. Question. What is your full name? Quel est votre nom complet? Answer. Réponse. Dong Eun. Dong Eun. Question. Question. Please re repeat your response again. What Veuillez is your réponse. family name? Quel est votre nom de famille? Answer. Dong Eun. Dong Eun. Question. So Question. your name is Dong Eun. Vous vous is that correct? Dong Answer. Réponse. My name is Dong Eun. Je m'appelle Dong Eun. Question. Question. In the document, uh, you are known by Dans another name, Dun Eun. Is nom. that correct? Dun Eun. It's exact. And again, uh, Madame Civil Party, uh, please Civil, listen to the response and have a slight pause until the microphone is operational. And moment, that would also be the good time for you to think of uh, how to respond to the question. Et cela vous donnera la possibilité de réfléchir à la question avant d'y répondre. So that your response would be full. Vous pourrez donc uh, and again, the civil party, what is your Madame official name civile, that appears on the identity card? Figure sur votre carte d'identité. Answer. Réponse. It's Dong Eun. C'est Dong Eun. 
question. question. Do you recall when you were born? Vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? Réponse. Answer, no, non. I do not recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I forget about it. Je l'ai oublié. Question. question. That is all right. Ce n'est pas grave. And how old are you this year? Quel âge avez-vous? Answer, I am 75 years old. Question. Question. In which village, commune, district and province you were born? District et province, vous êtes né? Réponse. And so I was born Je in Swainter district, district de province de Preving. Question. Question. What is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Réponse. I live in village de Portendam. commune de Preving, province. province de Preving. Question. Question. What is your Et current quelle occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Réponse. I do not sell anything. I Je ne vends rien. Have difficulty walking. J'ai de la difficulté à marcher. Question. Question. What are the names of your parents? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My mother is Ao and my father is Dun. Ao et mon père s'appelle Dun. Question. Question. What is the name of your husband Comment and how many children do you have? Mari. Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. His name is Joey. Il s'appelle Joey. We have one child. Et nous avons un enfant. President, thank you, Madame Dong Eun. Merci, Madame Dong Eun. And we would like to inform you that the world is end of your testimony. In your capacity as a civil party, you will be given an opportunity to make a victim's impact statement concerning the crimes which are alleged against the two accused. accused and which occurred between 17 April 1975 to 16 January 1979. If you wish to do so, uh, uh, Madame Dung Eun, have you provided any interview to investigators of your office with the co-investigating judges? If so, how many times, when and combien de fois, where? Où et quand? Réponse. Answer. In fact, I, I have been called uh, on several occasions to the court, although I never appeared before you in this chamber. Par contre, par Question. Can you recall how many times uh, you were interviewed in the room downstairs? Dans la salle au sous-sol? Answer five Réponse. times. Cinq fois. Question: Do you recall when? Et quand? Vous en souvenez-vous? Answer: Réponse. I cannot recall it. I cannot je remember which year it happened. Pas, je ne me souviens pas c'était en quelle année. Question. And before you appear, Question. before this chamber, have you read or reviewed or have them Avant read aloud? That is the written records of your statements that you said you have provided five times in order to refresh your memory? Ces cinq auditions que vous dites avoir eues afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. Réponse. Answer. Yes, I have. Oui. Question. Question. And through your best recollection, can you tell the chamber whether 
the written records of your souvenirs, interviews that you have read ces procès verbal or have them read aloud to you in order to refresh your memory, vous memory vous reflect the assessment that you provided vous during enquêteurs. the interviews to the investigators. And uh, yes, I have uh, oui. recalled them. Je m'en souviens. President, thank you. And pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECCC in the rules, the Chamber will give the floor for us to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone in and around the courtroom. And I thank you, Mr. President, for granting us the floor. Good morning, Madam Dongbu. My name is Pei Ong. I am the National Lead Co-Lawyer for the Parties. I have some questions to put to you in relation to your experience des questions au During sujet de votre expérience sur le régime, régime Khmer Rouge. My question is the following. Ma Can you tell the chamber pouvez-vous where je vous you lived où vous habitiez avant le 17 avril 1975? And so I lived Réponse. in Potsdam. Dam. J'habitais à Potsdam. I lived there, and that was my uh, native village. C'est là que j'habitais, c'est mon village natal. Question. Question. So before 1975. Avant 1975, donc. Can you tell the court whether you were married? Vous dire si vous étiez marié. Answer, yes, I was. Oui. Question. Question. What is the name of your Et husband? Comment s'appelle votre mari? Answer, Réponse. his name is Joey. Il s'appelle Joey. Question. Question. Can you tell us when you got married uh, with your husband and that you lived as a husband and wife? Answer. Uh, it was uh, since the Lonol regime. C'était depuis l'époque de Lonol. Question. Question. And before he became your husband, uh, where did you meet him? Et avant que de vous marier, où avez-vous rencontré votre époux? Answer. He was living Réponse. in his house. Il vivait dans sa maison. And then he asked his mother to Et come. Il a demandé à sa mère de me donner une femme. Et finalement, nous nous sommes mariés. Il voulait me marier. Nous nous sommes mariés. Question. Question. You said he was living in his house. Vous dites qu'il vivait dans sa maison. Was that a Cambodian type house or a Vietnamese type house? Était-ce une maison de style cambodgien ou de style vietnamien? Answer. Réponse. He was Khmer. Non, c'était une maison cambodgienne. Question. Question. Can you tell the chamber whether your husband lived with the Khmer people or with the Vietnamese people in that house? Dans cette maison. Dans la maison où votre mari habitait, y avait-il des Khmer ou étaient-ce des Vietnamiens And qui sir, they were Réponse. Vietnamese. Ils étaient Vietnamiens. Question. Question. And please uh, tell the court whether uh, your husband uh, was actually uh, Khmer or dire à la chambre, Vietnamese. Votre mari était-il Khmer ou était-il Vietnamien And Réponse. sir, he was uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamien. Question. Question. 
And do you know his uh, native village? Et savez-vous quel est son village Where natal? he was born? Savez-vous où il est né? And so Réponse. his native village was in Pym. C'était Pym, son village natal. And so, so you said uh, it was Pym. Il est né à Pym. Vous dites. If he was born in a uh, Pim, can you tell the chamber why you said si that he was Vietnamese? Était Vietnamien? And so, yes, I can explain Je that he was certainly. from Pim, Il and that is the truth. Pim, et la vérité. Question. What about his relatives, Question. that is, uh, his Quand siblings de, de and his parents, were they Vietnamese? Vietnamese? Réponse. His parents and his uh, relatives et, and siblings le reste de sa famille, were sa Vietnamese. Tous Vietnamien. Question. Question. And what language uh, did he speak? Et quelle langue parlait-il? He Réponse. spoke Vietnamese. Il parlait le Vietnamien. Question. Question. What about your husband? Did he speak Vietnamese? Qu'en est-il de votre mari? Parlait-il le vietnamien? And said yes, he did. Oui. Actually, he did not speak it clearly. Mais il ne le parlait pas clairement. Question: When you said he Question. did not speak it clearly, Quand which language le are you referring to? Quelle langue parlez-vous? Are you referring to Vietnamese or Khmer language? Ou de la langue Khmer? Réponse. And so, he spoke Vietnamese fluently, non, il but he did not speak my uh, that clearly. Khmer très clairement. Question. Question. And uh, in 1975, that is uh, during the Khmer regime, okay, après, did you live with him Khmer as Rouge? husband and wife? Oh, pendant le régime Khmer Rouge, viviez-vous ensemble euh, comme euh, mari et femme And so we lived Réponse. together until the time he left. Jusqu'à ce qu'il parte. Question. Question. And what did he do before he left? Et que faisait-il avant qu'il parte de I village refer de to the works that he si uh, son travail. engaged in. And so he was tasked to carry cow dams and buffalo dams oh, in order to le... fertilize uh, the rice fields. Il avait reçu pour tâche de transporter de. Question: Did you have any uh, de vache et children de buffle, afin with him? En faire de l'engrais. Question: Y avez-vous eu des enfants? And so Réponse. we have a child. Oui, nous avons un enfant. Question. Question. Was the child a boy or a girl? Et and uh, garçon, what fille. is the name of the child? Comment s'appelle l'enfant? And so uh, the name is uh, Kim Wa. L'enfant s'appelle Kim Wa. Question. Question. And Did your child have any alias? Answer Et votre enfant yes. Un surnom? Question: What is the alias? Réponse: euh, Réponse: Oui. Question: Quel est, cette, quel est ce Answer, surnom? Answer: The alias réponse. is Gwyn. Gwyn. Question: Is that Gamin? Question: Answer: Camin? Uh, Yes. Réponse. Question oui. and Madame, please uh, state your husband's Et name again. Comment s'appelle votre mari? Pouvez-vous le répéter? Answer: Réponse. It's Joey. Il s'appelle Joey. Question. Question. And what is his full name? Et quel est son nom? Answer: His full complet. name is Tet Yun. Il c'est Tet Yun. Pekong and Madame Civil Party, please have a Madame small partie, pause uh, between my question and your response. Entre la question et la réponse. Question. 
your said your husband Donc vous dites his name que is Tet Jun. Votre um, mari s'appelle Tet Jun. Can you tell the court why you named your child with enfant, a different family name that is Kim? Un nom de différent, à savoir Kim. And so Réponse. actually the family name was from the, his father. En fait, c'était le nom de famille de son père. Question. Question. Your child was known as Kamin. Donc, on connaissait votre enfant sous le nom de Kamin. And please uh, tell the uh, chamber why your child had an alias uh, Kamin. Votre enfant avait un surnom, à savoir Kamin. Question. Euh, réponse. And so, because I was afraid that they would take my child away to be killed for that reason I named my child Camille and I Camille. stopped using Kim Wa for the name of my child Question. and madam please tell the court whether madame your daughter is alive and if so si oui. what is her age And so, yes, she is living and she is currently 45 years old. Oui, elle est vivante, elle a 45 ans. Thank you. Question. I'd like to report more questions Question to you remercie. in relation Je to your husband. Vous poser au sujet de votre mari. During the Khmer Rouge regime, starting from 1975, did you hear or receive any information that uh, Vietnamese who were living in Cambodia or in your area had to return to Vietnam? And so, yes. And in fact, I oui. urged my husband en fait, to go together, but he refused to go. He said to live or to die, he would remain in Cambodia. Question. And did you know if uh, there were any Vietnamese families Question, that uh, returned si to Vietnam after the announcement was Vietnam, made for Vietnamese to return to uh, Vietnam? Answer yes. Uh, there were Taki and oui, the man and their et children. Et the whole family actually went uh, to Vietnam. Et au and uh, the man actually returned to Cambodia and later on Les he died. Question. When did they come back to Cambodia? After they left, did they come back to Cambodia in Khmer Rouge time or after the regime? Answer: It was after the uh, collapse of Khmer Rouge that he returned to Cambodia. Lawyer, thank you, Madame Civil Party. I would like to ask you in particular about your husband, particularly your, his work during the Khmer Rouge. You have just stated uh, he was gone or disappeared. What can you tell about his disappearance? What did he do before his disappearance? Answer. He was assigned to go and cut a rumpia vine and after that assignment he disappeared. Question. Can you clarify it for the court? When did he disappear? Answer. I cannot tell you the exact year when he disappeared. Question. What season was the time when your husband disappeared? Question. Quelle saison était-ce? 
answer. It was uh, during the harvesting season. Réponse, pendant la saison des and I was out in the field uh, doing the Moi, dans les champs. Uh, harvest. Et je and when I returned home, he disappeared. Parce I did not know at the time where he went to. Lawyer, thank you. Can you tell the court who saw the event that your husband had taken away? What uh, was happening during the time? De cet événement et de ce qu'il s'est passé au moment où il a été emmené. Answer. It was my mother who told me that uh, my husband had been Réponse, taken away, and he, she said uh, she did not know where they took my husband to. After hearing this, I returned to cela, the field to work. Question. Did your mother tell you Question. how many people come came to arrest your husband and Votre did mère, they tie your husband up? Votre mari Answer, et no, he was not tied up. Uh, he was uh, walked away from my house. That is what uh, my ma mother voilà told me. Ma and after hearing this, I went et back to the field to harvest. Question. How many people walked Question. your husband away? Answer. There was only one person who Je walked on my husband away. Question. When your husband was to walk away by that Question. person, did your mother say mari, anything to your husband while he was being walked away? À votre mari au moment où on l'emmenait. Answer. My mother said, uh, "Please return immediately after you arrived at the place." And uh, in reply, he said, "He would come back uh, very soon." However, he disappeared ever since. Mais il a disparu depuis. Lawyer, your mother said. And told you that uh, your husband was Question. assigned Votre to go and cut a rumpe wine. Did you know at the time in which location de, uh, he rotin, was assigned to go and cut a rumpe wine? Answer: I did not know the place where he was uh, doing cutting rumpe wine. Je ne sais pas what can I knew from that time onward is his disappearance. Question. Did members of other Vietnamese family who lived in the same village as you uh, were assigned to go and do the same job. Answer. Like the uh, family and uh, member and his uh, children uh, were sent away as well, except only Lightney uh, was spared. Question: You stated that uh, Lightney, Lightney's uh, family. Uh, were taken away as well. So can you specify this point for the court? Answer. His children, five or six children together with the mother, went away. It was only uh, Lightney's uh, family and children who were sent away. De la femme de l'acné et les enfants de l'acné qui ont été emmenés. Question. You Question. said Lightney, wife, and uh, five or six children Vous of Lightney were taken away. Is that correct? Avec What I summarized. Ont été emmenés. Est -ce que exact? 
and say, yes, you are right. Réponse. Oui, vous avez raison. Five or six ch children together Cinq with the mother were taken away. Question. Did you know Lightning's wife at the time? Question. Et à ce la la femme Answer. De no, I did not Réponse. recall uh, Lightning's wife's name. Je ne me pas du nom de la femme de Question. Was, oh, what nationality did she hold? Question. Et de quelle nationalité était-elle? Answer. She was ethnically Vietnamese. She Réponse. spoke. Elle uh, était ethnique vietnamienne ou elle était vietnamienne? Not clearly. Elle ne parlait pas très clairement. Question. Before the Khmer Rouge period, Question, what a business uh, did a Lachny's wife do? Que faisait, quelle était la profession de la femme de Lachny? Answer. She sold a vegetable at her house. She elle bought a vegetables from the market and then uh, sold them at her house. Lawyer, thank you. Beside Lachny's uh, family, Avocat des parties civiles, je vous remercie. Were Mis à part la famille de Lachny, other Vietnamese uh, family living in your village? Y avait-il d'autres familles vietnamiennes qui habitaient dans votre village? Answer: Ngang. Réponse: Ngang. Ngang had been taken away Ngang first a été emmené to cut Rumpia wine. Pour aller couper Ngang disappeared uh, from that time onward. He never returned. Ngang was also Vietnamese. Ngang était également Vietnamien. Question. Question. What about Ngang's children? Were they also enfants? taken away? Ses enfants ont-ils également été emmenés? Answer: No. Réponse: Non. Ngang's children uh, stayed. Les enfants de At Ngang home, only the sont restés à la maison. Seul le mari a été emmené. Question. Question. How did you know Ngang was uh, Vietnamese? Et comment saviez-vous que Ngang était vietnamien? Answer. Ngang did not speak uh, the language uh, clearly, Et said uh, civil party. Ngang ne parlait pas la langue... Correctement ou clairement. Question. Could Ngang speak of Vietnamese? Question. Pouvait-il parler vietnamien? President, please observe President. microphone, Madame Civil Party, Madame before you speak. Attendez que le microphone soit allumé avant de parler. Answer. Ngang parents uh, were Réponse, Vietnamese. Ngang était vietnamien. I did not know whether Ngang spoke or could speak Vietnamese as well. Et What I can tell si you is that uh, Ngang's uh, parents uh, were Vietnamese. Si Question. Did you ever see uh, Ngang's parents Question, speak uh, Vietnamese? Vous jamais vu les de Ngang Vietnamese? Answer. I, uh, I did not know whether Ngang's parents uh, spoke Vietnamese Réponse, since uh, we were si living uh, far away from each other. But what I can tell you is that uh, Ngang was ethnically Vietnamese. Question. How did you know that Ngang's family uh, were Vietnamese, was Vietnamese? Answer. From the physical and facial features, I can tell that uh, he was uh, Vietnamese. And it was because he could not speak Khmer clearly as well that I knew he was a Vietnamese. Question. Did you ever meet him and speak to him? Answer. No. I never spoke to him. Question. Did you ever see him uh, speak of Khmer? Question. Il avez-vous jamais vu parler Khmer? Answer. Parler he Khmer? cannot. He could not speak Khmer clearly. Réponse. Il ne parlait pas bien le Khmer. Answer. Did you know uh, his children? What were their names? Question. Et connaissez-vous le nom de ses enfants? 
answer. One child name was Katop. And another child name uh, was Nguyen Tieng. L'autre Nguyen Tieng. Were these children taken away by a Khmer Rouge or cadres? Est-ce que ces enfants ont été emmenés par les Khmer Rouges ou par des cadres? Answer: They were taken away during the Khmer Rouge period. But in fact, uh, only the husband uh, was taken away, not the children. Mais en fait, il n'y a que le mari qui a été emmené, pas les enfants. Question: You have just stated uh, they were taken Mais away. Mais vous venez de dire qu'ils ont été emmenés. Did you refer to Ngang and Lightning's family? De, de Who else uh, uh, were taken away after the arrest of uh, Ngang and Lightning's family? Answer. Ngang was uh, the first one who Réponse, was Ngang arrested, and then Lightning said arrêté. Madame Civil Party, Puis, and my Lightning husband was the last one who was taken away. Question. Question. Madame Civil Party, I would like Madame to Civil. backtrack a little bit and I want to know about your husband. During the Khmer Rouge, during the Democratic Cambodia, when you were living together with your husband, what kind of business did he do? Quel type De travail avait-il quel, Answer. Quel était He sold uh, livestock, uh, ducks and chickens. Uh, buyers came to our house and uh, bought ducks and chickens. So that was the only business that we did at the time. Question. Did he uh, sell opium during the time? Vendait-il de l'opium no. Answer, no. He did not. Réponse, no. Question. Question. Did your family have a decent living during the time? Votre famille gagnait-elle correctement sa vie? Answer. We were living in a difficult situation Réponse, nous during the time. Nous vivions dans une situation difficile à cette époque. And uh, we did not have uh, enough to eat. Et nous pas we were blamed. À we were assigned on to work uh, with no free time. Et on sans temps libre. Lawyer, thank you, Madame Civil Party. Avocat, je vous now Madame I Patricie. am asking présent, about vous poser des questions your experience au sujet de votre experience. during the Khmer Rouge period, Rouge. that is uh, after 1975, what kind of work did you do during that time? À cette époque -là, quel type de travail était le vôtre? Answer. I was assigned to go and dig a swide, dig canal, do the harvesting, and uh, transplanting the rice. Again, I was assigned to go and to dig a canal or reservoir away from my living quarter. Answer. So who take care of your children? Answer. It was my mother. Question. What about your husband before he was taken away? Did he help look after the children as well? Rather than the child as well? Answer. Before he was Réponse. taken away, he Avant helped uh, look after the daughter, and he always uh, held the hand of the child to the work 
taking place and during the time that uh, he went to have meal he also had the child with him and after he was taken away the child was left uh, to the my mother to look after question did you have other children beside the one that you had with uh, your husband. Answer. I had another child. The name was Myang. However, he was taken away and killed during the Pol Pot time. He asked at the time, he uh, asked for Gasoline, gasoline, and then he was killed. Question. Question. Did uh, you have uh, that child uh, with Joy? Et avez-vous eu cet enfant avec Joy? Answer. In fact, uh, it was the child that I had with my former husband, Réponse, en fait, and uh, we divorced after that one child. Après avoir eu cet enfant. Unique. Question. After your Question. child, your son uh, was arrested. Et après que votre I would like arrêté, to ask uh, about the event when he was arrested. Did it happen after the arrest of your husband? That is Joey. Si ce qu'il s'est passé, est-ce qu'il a été arrêté après l'arrestation de votre mari Joey? My son was also Réponse. arrested Mon mari, during enfant plutôt, the Pol Pot time. He accidentally made a fire uh, out a of the gasoline and the cigarette lighter. And it was that incident that he was arrested. I did not dare to go to see what happened to him when I heard that he was arrested. Question. Madame Civil Party, I would like to know whether the arrest of your son happened after your husband's arrest. Answer. My husband, Joy, uh, had been arrested at first, and later on it was the time for my son. Lawyer, thank you, Madame Civil Party. I do not have many more questions to put to you, but I need your clarification instead. When you married your husband, Joy, did do you know that uh, he uh, had a position as a soldier before you to marry it? Saviez-vous qu'avant de l'épouser, il avait été soldat? Answer. I did not know whether he was a, a soldier in any other society, I only knew that he came to reside in the country. I, he never told me that he was a soldier. Lawyer, thank you. My last question to you, Madame Civil Party, is about the time before your husband was taken away and then he disappeared. Was there any discrimination against your husband? Souffrait-il de discrimination? Answer. My husband was taken away and killed. My child was also taken away and killed. I missed them and I feel pained in my heart. Lawyer, Madame Civil Party, let me interrupt you. Before your husband was taken away.
did someone discriminate uh, your husband, or was there any discrimination against your husband by the commune chief or by anyone within your village and commune? Answer. No discrimination against him in the commune and village. No one said anything about the discrimination. Lawyer, thank you, Madame Civil Party, for answering my questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, Merci, for Madame letting me ask the Civil Party. I am done with my questioning. President, now the floor is given to the co-prosecutors to put questions to this Civil Party. You have the floor now, co-prosecutor. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Good morning, Mrs. Civil Party. My name is Andrew Boyle. I'm a lawyer for the Office of the Co-Prosecutors, and I'm going to ask you a few further questions about your experiences. I'd like to start off um, by following up on something that you told um, my learned friend. Uh, you described renaming your daughter because you were concerned that she would be taken away and killed. Can you tell us when was it that you renamed your daughter or started telling, uh, calling your daughter by a different name? Answer. Regarding the renaming of uh, my daughter, I, it was my understanding that I needed to rename her with a different name because I was afraid that she was taken away and smashed. I decided to use a different name for her besides the previous name. Autre que celui qu'elle portait précédemment. And when you decided to use a different name, was that after the Khmer Rouge Question had arrived in Pochendam village? Prise après des Khmer Rouge dans le village de Pochendam? Yeah. Answer. Yes, it was after Réponse. that time. After oui, Khmer Rouge après, came into the commune. And what was it about her original name that you thought would make her a target for being smashed? Qu'est-ce qui dans son nom vous faisait croire que elle pourrait être la cible d'une arrestation ou qu'elle pourrait que son nom pourrait donner lieu? Her original name was a Kim Wa. Réponse. Son nom de départ, c'était Kim Wa. And later on, I renamed her by a different name, Camille. Et plus tard, Camille, je lui ai donné rather. un autre nom, Camille. And why did you think, if she kept the name Kim Wa, that she would be targeted to be smashed? Question. Et pourquoi avez-vous pensé que on la prendrait pour cible et qu'elle serait écrasée si elle gardait le nom de Kim Wa? Yeah. Answer. It was my Réponse. concern that she would be smashed. For this reason, I renamed her uh, Camille. I was afraid that she Kimien. was also taken away and smashed Je like uh, her father. Aussi et I'll try to ask in a slightly different way. Question. Je vais Why de poser was la question Camille a Pourquoi safer name than Kim Va? How would it protect her to be named Kim Mian instead of Kim, Kim Va? La protégeait plus que si elle s'était que si elle Kim Va. Answer. I was afraid that uh, my child was taken away and smashed. That's why I renamed her. Kim Mian. Mon enfant soit emmené et écrasé. Really, just just. 
made a suggestion to me that the name uh, Gamian should be used instead of Kimba, otherwise she would be taken away as her father. Would the name Kim Va have identified her with her father in the way that the name Kim Mian would not? Le nom Kim Va aurait permis d'établir un lien l'identifiant à son père, contrairement au nom Kim Mian. Cha cha ngai. Answer. Đã chua. Thì Kim Va tới khai chuột. The name Kim Wa may have uh, something to do with uh, the father. That is why I renamed her Kamian. Thank you very much. Um, are you able to recall when it was that Question, the Khmer Rouge arrived in Pochendam village? Answer. 19, it was in 1977 when Khmer Rouge arrived in Pochendam. I'd like to. Uh, I heard you say that the Khmer Rouge arrived in your village in 1977. I would like to. Um, read a quote to you um, from a transcript of an individual who you may know, a fellow villager. Um, his name is Teng Hui, Teng Hui, Teng Pal. Teng Pal. Um, he came to testify before this court. Uh, and this is the transcript at E1 slash 370.1, um, just before the 3, uh, 15, 30, 24 mark. Um, Madam Civil Party, he, he stated that the Madame Khmer Rouge Civil, took control of Pochendam village, village in 1972 or 1973. Ou 73. Having heard that, does that refresh your recollection that the Khmer Rouge Maintenant actually arrived in Pochendam village in 1972 or 1973? Answer. I do not know about uh, that statement. What I know is Je that it was in 1977 when the Khmer Rouge arrived at Pochendam. Pochendam. I do not know about other statements. Je ne sais rien okay. Um, can you tell us bon um, when the Khmer Rouge arrived in Pochendam village, did they put certain si, people in charge of the village? Sont au village? Si, donc, ils ont mis certaines personnes à la tête de l'administration du village. Réponse. No, they non. did not. Question. Does the name Horn mean anything Le nom de to Horn. you in relation to Cela Pochendam village? Vous rappelle-t-il quelque chose à Pochendam? Is the name uh, Horn? Horn, vous voulez dire? If there is the case, then uh, Horn was si a Horn. militia man. Oui. Uh, C'était un militia. And did he have authority in Pochendam village after the Khmer Rouge des arrived? À Pochendam après l'arrivée des Khmer Rouge. He worked for the militia. Réponse. Il travaillait pour la militia. That's my home too. The, when the Khmer Rouge entered euh, the area, la, la he was civile, a militiaman. Quand les Khmer Rouge sont arrivés, il était militiaman. Question. And did he remain in Pochendam village after the Khmer Rouge entered Après l'arrivée des Khmer Rouge. Mm. 
Yes, he was. Oui. He passed away now. Mais il est mort maintenant. However, at the time he was still uh, there. À l'époque, il était encore là. And uh, his wife and children ah, survive. Et son épouse et ses enfants eux, ont survécu. Does the name Question. Seng mean anything et to you in relation to Pochendam village? Cela vous dit-il quelque chose à Pochendam? Réponse. Saint was chief of Saint the militia. était le chef de la milice. However, he was not uh, a native uh, villager Cependant, in my village. Ne, ne he came village from another il, village. En fait, il venait d'un autre village. Thank you very much. Do you, Question. Uh, do you remember the names of any persons in charge Vous souvenez-vous des noms de certaines personnes qui auraient été à la tête de votre commune pendant la période des Khmer Rouges Réponse. I recall uh, Chai. Je me souviens de Chai. Who was the uh, community? Qui était chef de commune. Chai Phon. These are the names that I know. Voilà Chai and Horn. Que je connais. Chai et Horn. Did Question. Chai have a deputy? Est-ce que Chai so, avait un adjoint? Remember the name. Of his deputy. Souvenez-vous de son adjoint? Réponse. I cannot recall them. Je ne It's been a long time, so I cannot recall them all. Je ne me souviens pas de tout le monde. <laughs> As I said, I cannot recall them. Comme je vous l'ai dit, je ne m'en souviens pas. I understand that's oui, perfectly fine. Je comprends fine, et so ce n'est pas du tout un problème. Tell us as you have et been if you don't recall something. Comme vous l'avez fait, veuillez nous le dire um, quand vous avez oublié. But I'd like to ask you, does the name Mut et mean anything du nom de to Mut? you? Réponse. Yes, I recall Mot. Oui, je me souviens de Mot. However, uh, Mot worked uh, or had worked much longer Mot than Chime. Ah, he passed away beaucoup too. plus longtemps que Chime, et lui aussi, il est décédé. Uh, the same individual who I Question. mentioned earlier. Et cette même personne the dont j'ai donné le nom dans um, la même transcription. Paul. Tan Pao, he was testifying here at 1540, 58. He stated that Mut was the deputy of Chan. Chan. Does that refresh your recollection that Cela Mut was the deputy of Chan? Does that refresh your recollection that Mut was the deputy of Chan? Yes, I recall Réponse. that. Oui, je m'en souviens. Mot uh, had worked uh, Mot before Chime. Travaillé avant Chime. That's what I can recall about Mot. C'est ce dont je me souviens de Mot. That is, uh, I refer to their positions during the Pol Pot regime. Moi, je parle ici de, de les, des postes qu'ils ont occupés sous le régime de Pol Pot. Uh, I'd like to ask you about one other individual uh, in relation personne, to the leadership uh, in Pochendam village. village Pochendam. Um, do you remember an, in an individual named Ngoi? Ngoi? And if so, do you remember what Et position si he oui, held? Vous du poste qu Question. Yes, I am not familiar with Ngoi. Je ne connais pas Ngoi. I do not know where Ngoi came from. Je ne me pas d'où venait Ngoi. We recently had 
testifi testify before this court Question. an individual who I believe is your cousin quelqu'un qui a déposé en cette chambre je crois que c'est votre cousin Lac Cree on the 20th of January il a déposé ici le 20 janvier your honors and counsel there's only a draft transcript nous n'avons qu'un projet de transcription and this is at 14 qui nous est disponible c'est à 14 heures 4 et 4 secondes madame civil party your cousin stated that madame la partie civile votre cousin a dit que Ngoy était le chef de la sécurité de Svay Antor. Cela vous rafraîchit-il donc la mémoire que Ngoy était le chef de la sécurité de la commune de Svay Antor? Réponse. I cannot recall who Ngoy was. Je ne me souviens pas de Ngoy. I forget about this person. J'ai oublié cette personne. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. L'accusation. Merci, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Si vous voulez prendre la pause, je pense que la césure est naturelle, mais sinon je peux continuer. Thank you. Le président, uh, merci. It is now convenient to have a short break, but we'll take a break now. It is resumed at 10:30. Le débat nous reprendra à 10h30. Court officer, please assist the civil party and the uh, waiting room reserves for witnesses and civil parties and invite her as well as the TPO staff back into the courtroom at 10:30. The court is now in recess.